Hi, in this video we're going to be doing a series problem. So we have this infinite series, it goes from 0 to infinity, and it's cosine of x to the nth power over 2 to the nth power. And the question wants us to find the values of x for which this series converges, and it also wants us to find the sum of the series. So we're going to be using a geometric series, so let me just explain what that is. So if you have a series that looks like this, where n starts at, now I can put any number here, so I'm going to be bold, I'm going to put a k, and say you have a series like this, a times r to the n where a is a constant. So basically um, this series, okay, is going to be equal to a times, you just put the k where the n is, r to the k, over 1 minus r, and this is going to be true if the absolute value of r is less than 1. Okay, so that's, that's when it's true. Uh, if otherwise it diverges. So, so if, if r is equal to or greater than 1 in absolute value, then, then it diverges. Okay. So in this problem, we basically have a geometric series, and so we have to basically put this in this form so we can apply this formula. We also should verify why it converges, so we should verify this condition in this problem. So I'm going to go ahead and write it again. We have the infinite sum as n runs from 0 to infinity, and I'm going to write it as a single fraction like this. It's really cosine of x over 2, and the whole thing is to the nth power like this, right? Because you're just raising each piece to the nth power. And so now you can clearly identify what r is. Obviously a is one, right? If you're, use, if you're using matching. And then k is zero, okay, in this formula. And then so r is the cosine of x over two here. x is a real number. So we want to make sure it's less than one, an absolute value, so let's do that. So the absolute value of cosine is less than or equal to 1. And then here we have the 2. And that's certainly less than 1. Right? 1 half is less than 1. So the absolute value of r is less than 1. So our series does converge. So it converges. Notice that I said nothing about x. So basically this is going to converge for all x. That's pretty cool, right? I really wasn't thinking about it. I, I haven't done this problem, so I thought, oh, it's geometric, I'll try it, you know, I'll hit record, make a video. Um, but yeah, but it converges for all values of x. That's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, so now we can write down the answer, like what is the sum? So let's see. So this infinite sum, as n runs from 0 to infinity, of cosine x over 2 to the n. Well, the formula I wrote down says it's just going to be a, which is 1, so it doesn't really matter. And if you look at the formula, it just basically says you take whatever's here and you plug it in. So you take whatever's here and you plug it in. And that goes up top. So it'll be cosine of x over 2 to the 0 over 1 minus r. And r is cosine x over 2. This is equal to uh, anything, anything to the 0 power is 1. And then here we have 1 minus um, cosine of x over 2. We can clean this up. We can multiply by 2 over 2. So we get 2 over, and then 2 times 1 is 2, and here 2 times this is just going to give us cosine x. So that's pretty cool. So this infinite sum is equal to this for all x. Right, so yep. So the values of x would be, if you want to write it in interval notation, it would be negative infinity to infinity. It's typically how you do it in calculus books. Uh, you can also write it like this. It's a set of real numbers that would also work. So yeah, kind of interesting. Um, this infinite series is equal to um, this. And it's true for all values of x. Kind of an interesting fact. I hope this video has been helpful to someone. Good luck.